light will be beamed onto the main square of the Jukan Town Hall using three mirrors erected 450 meters high in the mountains. The installation of the mirrors has already been completed. They have sensors that catch the sun and redirect it to the square. On Monday, workers and technicians were giving the five million kroner project a final touch. For decades, residents of Jukan have been using the nearby cable car cross Obanen to get to the mountain top for some sunshine in winter. Karen Rowe, chief of Jukan Tourist Office, said that people in the town will continue to use cable cars in winter, although activity in the square is expected to increase. Uh, we think it will be more uh, activities in, uh, in town, um, especially in, in autumn and winter time. Um, people are, will be more uh, out. The idea of building a huge mirror to reflect sunlight onto the town is almost as old as the town. But a hundred years ago, they didn't have the technology, so they built a cable car to take people to where the sunshine was. After five years of debate, the town council finally decided this year to invest the five million Norwegian kroner, or about 800,000 US dollars, to build the mirrors. The town of Rukon was uh, founded in about 100 years ago, in 1907. And uh, uh, the founder was uh, Sam Eide. Uh, he was also, uh, he started uh, Norskido, the big industrial Norwegian company. Uh, but uh, he had uh, a challenge uh, because uh, of the steep hillsides. There is no sun in uh, Rukan during the winter. Uh, for six months there is no sun because of, uh, of the mountains around. Uh, he wanted to bring uh, the light, the sun, to the workers. So he had an idea of building a big... Uh, uh, sun mirror to bring the sun down to the city.